What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care and today we are going to be talking about the new DeWalt 20 volt handheld Gen 2 blower. So stay tuned. say huge thank you to DeWalt as they did send me these products for review however please know that all thoughts and opinions are still that of my own hope you enjoy all right guys so we're going to jump right into this we're going to tell you about what this comes with now this is the kit you can get just the tool only of the blower the kit however comes with a five amp hour battery and the two amp output battery charger so we'll get into runtime things like that but uh, this thing's very easy to put together it even has a lock system down here that you can unlock it for easy storage so let's put this thing together here and show you just how quick and easy this thing is line it up and then push you hear it click into place, boom. And then you have a concentrator nozzle. They say this right here, bad boy, is going to, what is going to give you your 125 miles per hour. Now, really, I'm going to be honest with you, you can tell a little difference between with and without, but, you know, if you lost this, I don't think you would be uh, hurt by any means. But uh, it, it does give it a little more oomph to push it a little farther. So, uh, man, look, this thing with the battery, uh, five amp hour, you're gonna be looking at around eight pounds, uh, about five and a half without the battery onto it. Uh, charge time, things like that we'll get into. Unlike the Gen 1 where the battery was down here, the Gen 2, the battery is on the back, which really comes in handy because it makes it a very well-balanced blower. It's amazing how well-balanced this actually feels, and it really does not feel like, even with the battery on it, that this thing is 8 pounds. Uh, so, you know, honestly, feels more like 5 pounds but uh, that's what you're gonna get without the battery. But you know, when you put that battery in, it really just makes the blower all around way more balanced. Uh, just like DeWalt's other items, very comfortable handle. Uh, the Gen 1 had the, this battery back out. Gen 1 had your, your uh, what I call cruise control over here on this side, but on the Gen 2, it's right here up top. So you literally just, you know, I mean, it's so easy. You really ain't even got to pull the trigger to do it. Uh, it's about the same regardless. Uh, it's a little harder whenever you're not, you know, pulling the trigger first and then doing it. But uh, full throttle run time. Guys, I haven't tried this on leaves or anything like that. There's a couple other people that you can watch to get the leaf blowing uh, extravaganza they got going on. But it seems to do very well in leaves. I've personally just been using it for grass, things of that nature. So let's show you some footage of uh, blowing some grass with it. Got the DeWalt blower with the five amp hour battery on it. Show y'all what we got going on here. <laughs> so, uh, you can tell it blows pretty good. Just from here, <clears throat> definitely not bad for this nozzle. Get some of this, <clears throat> and it's adjustable too. So, that's all the way down the driveway. Still going. I'm at the front of the truck. See if we can make it blow over. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at it go, boys. <laughs> Pretty little powerful blower. Says it's 125 miles per hour, 450 CFM. And uh, I mean, as you can tell, <laughs> Once it starts blowing, it blows. So there's a lot of grass down here. I'm blow some of this and see where we're at. So we're at the start here. So uh, here we go, ready? Not 
not much. But if you plan on using this, you could definitely. I mean, this thing blows pretty decent here. So right up over the curb. No issues. No issues. Definitely a handy little blower to have. Great thing about this blower is you can probably hear me. I mean, it's really not that loud. But the best part that I would say about it, you don't have to start anything. It's very quick, very easy to just grab it and move on. Literally, grab it and go and have everything blown off no issues all right so we're uh we're here so here's the sidewalk you can tell that bush is what that's uh i think them were three foot sections maybe two and a half but i mean that's 10 foot away let's see what we got ready let's see if the bush will move oh yeah look it even moves the tree limb so uh definitely got some power to it the new DeWalt XR brushless with five amp hour battery. You know, this thing really does work very well. Run time though, let's just say is not the greatest. You got a five amp hour battery. Now, if you're a DeWalt fan, you're running all DeWalt anyway, then you're already gonna have a ton of batteries, which is gonna be a good thing because you're gonna need them depending on how big your property is. Now, if you just have a residential, small residential property, this one battery is probably gonna get you through just blowing what you need to blow. But the one thing about this is, is uh, you're only gonna get around 20 minutes of run time with this five amp hour battery at full throttle capacity on this floor. Now, how long does it take to charge? Well, with this charger, the two amp output charger, uh, guys, you're looking at a little over an hour and 15 minutes uh, to charge this battery. But run time, once again, you're gonna get close to 20 minutes out of this thing and that's fully charged. Now, one thing you will notice is after using this, consistently, as you're using it for, once you get to, I don't know, uh, halfway, uh, we'll say 10 minutes of that run time, you're gonna start noticing that uh, you'll start hearing the power lossage uh, of this blower. So, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I really wished it just, ran until it died uh, at full power. So I really wish that, you know, maybe that's maybe that's a, a good feature to have. Maybe it's not. I mean, if you've got a little bit more blowing to do, I'd much rather get it done quick uh, and just be done with it. But, you know, once again, I don't know all the internals of this thing and how it actually works, uh, what their thought process behind it is or anything like that. With everything being said, you can buy this tool only for 150. So if you've got a bunch of batteries, hey, Tool only 150, but I would recommend the kit. And here's the reason why, it's $50 more and you get a five amp hour battery and a charger with it. So, uh, you know, the concentrated nozzle, once again, really, you, you can tell, but you can't tell the difference in it. Slides right on. This is supposedly how you're gonna get your 125 miles per hour. This thing does 450 CFM. Uh, I mean, all around, it is a great little blower for the homeowner. Uh, the homeowner, hey, great blower. 
Would I recommend this if you're looking for something commercial wise? Uh, depending on what you're doing. You know, if, if I was blowing out mulch beds, something like that, that my, my backpack blower definitely has way too much power to do, uh, even probably on idle it blows it around, then this thing is probably what I'm gonna have my go-to for. Another reason that I would use this is when I do mulch jobs to clean up uh, the mulch on the flower, you know, the sidewalks, the driveway, thing of that nature, then uh, wherever you drop the mulch, you know, things of that, then uh, blowing it back out of the grass into the mulch bed when you're done, just cleaning everything up. This is also gonna come very handy to do small things of that nature that are gonna be quick and just, you ain't gotta start nothing, you ain't gotta worry about no gas. You literally grab a blower, grab your battery, slide it in, and walk. Now, decibel wise, this thing is 66 decibels, so it is very, very quiet. It's really not that loud, but uh, you know, hey, should you buy it? Well, hey, it really depends on what you plan on using it for. I'm not gonna tell you you shouldn't buy it because I personally love battery powered blowers when it comes to smaller jobs, smaller items. If I was the homeowner, I would definitely be looking into something and help. If you have any questions, comments, uh, hey, comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But thanks for watching, guys. Like always, like, comment. If you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one.